remember how nice and sunny and clear and what a beautiful day it was on the last video? It's not so much anymore. The most wonderful time of the year came a little early this year. Yeah, so it's about 4.30, it's November 12th. We got about three, four inches of snow last night. And it's uh, pretty fluffy stuff, it drifted pretty good. Uh, we actually had to go out and plow a little bit of snow this morning. Um, we didn't pick corn all day because we were worried that we'd have problems with the sieves uh, getting built up with snow when they come in contact with the silks. The problem is if it gets a little too warm, the snow will melt in the machine and it'll plug up the sieves and then you'll be throwing corn out the back. So we don't have that many acres left. We're, we're under 400, but uh, we didn't really want to push it too much. If we had, you know, 800 or 1,000 acres left, we probably would have pushed it. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out now and uh, the elevator's already closed. So we're just gonna fill up the trucks, fill up the auger cart. There's about 20 or so acres left in that field where we left off. And uh, my hands are getting cold. I think we might be able to fit it on the trucks and uh, the auger cart and the combine and whatnot. So now I have never combined corn in the snow personally, but I've been around back in 2009. We finished up in January. It was a year similar to this, but uh, I wasn't old enough to really run the combine. I was running the auger cart at the time. Yeah, this will be a little bit of a new experience. We're not really used to this around here. Normally we're done in October on a normal year. I don't really know what a normal year is anymore. It doesn't seem like we get those too often. to the field well we just got here to the field I got the uh, separator running at low rpm for a minute I'm just gonna let all the belts and chains and stuff get warmed up it is really really cold outside it was nine degrees this morning when I got up I they said on the radio that's a record the previous record I think they said it was 18 so we had a high of 20 today but uh, it is it is just brutal out there it's way too early for this stuff Gonna go through and make sure all my monitors are set up right. in here this is a little weird I've never picked corn in the snow before like I said so I'm just gonna try and keep the corn head above the snow hopefully it's not down too bad to where I'm not bringing in a whole lot of snow into the machine it's a little bit on the plants but it's cold enough I don't think it'll be a problem so there was a couple guys running in the area and they didn't I mean they ran all day so I'm assuming it was all right for them so Definitely not used to picking corn in the snow. It's like a harvest wonderland out here. The moon 
moon sure is bright tonight. So the one thing that's kind of cool about picking corn in the snow is the moonlight reflects off the snow, so it doesn't seem like it's as dark as it actually is out here. Looks like the deer had a heyday in here. This is kind of a goofy corner of the field. It goes into kind of a tree grove next to an old building site. Never really get a very good crop out of this corner, so I'm actually putting it into a pollinator um, through that equip program. What that means is we'll come in here and we'll disc it all up and we'll plant flowers and uh, just plants that honeybees like and pollinator insects. So it's uh, I'll get paid to do it and uh, we won't have to deal with this goofy corner anymore and we won't have to deal with losing money because we never really get a crop off of it. So. And it's good for the environment. It's a win-win. I just missed it with the camera. There's a big buck that just ran through here. Well, I got my first tank full. I'm, uh, after this is empty, I'm going to get out and just double check the sieves. I've only picked about two acres so far. I just want to be sure everything's alright. I've never really had to do this before. So good, hopefully it stays that way. Man, is it cold out there. Woo! I don't think anybody wants some big corn in the snow, but it is kind of pretty. So I guess I can give you a little bit of an update on what's going on on the farm since the last video. Obviously, it snowed quite a bit, um, we already know that, but we ended up, we got our dryer bin full, it is completely dry now, um, we wanted to start hauling it out yesterday, but it was snowing all day pretty bad, and the roads are pretty slick, so we decided to hold off um, until today, and then our uh, elevator that we were going to haul to, they ended up breaking a belt on one of their their dry holding bins so they told us we could haul dry corn in. Our corn in the dryer bin ended up being a little bit wetter than it should be but with the LP crunch that's going on right now we decided to not use any more LP in case we're not able to get any more because we have to do at least one more batch just because of the way the field is and uh, it's complicated but anyways we dried it down to about 16 and a half so they were able to take that because they were going to run it through the dryer a little bit before they put it in the bin anyway. So we hauled a few loads today. It was so cold we had trouble getting things running this morning. So we, we just got four loads in. But at least we got things started anyway. We know where the moisture's at. And uh, that's what we got going on. We'll probably do that tomorrow too because it's supposed to be a little bit warmer. Uh, not warm enough to completely melt the snow, but warm enough to probably cause trouble in the combine. We'll probably be hauling out dry corn tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so that's what the deal is. It's supposed to warm up later in the week. Hopefully it'll melt all the snow away, and we can just get a good week and get harvest finished up. That's what I'm hoping, but who knows? We've made plans before this year, and none of them really seem to work. So we're just taking it as it comes. Like it, it must be cold enough that uh, when the corn head grabs the stalk it just shakes all the snow off of it which is good because that way we're not sending a whole lot through the machine so I can remember back in 2009 I mentioned this in a previous video we had a similar situation um, we had to harvest a lot of corn in the snow but the two main problems we were having was the snow would freeze to the sieves and you know plug them up basically the other problem we were having is the deck plates would get frozen shut and then you couldn't move them. And in our ground, with as variable as the soil types are, you got to move them pretty much all day long. You can't just leave them set. Um, so if you want to do a good job, you got to constantly closing them. 